What kind of horsepower can you get from a camshaft swap on the latest Ford 5-liter Coyote engine? We tested a set of ComCam's no spring required camshafts firsthand to get that answer. But first, we had to travel all the way to Indiana. I'm Staying TV editor Mark Gearhart, and we're at Brinsby's beautiful facility here in Indiana. Next to me is their Shop Mule 2011 Mustang. It's got Cook's long tube headers, Magnaflow catback, JLT intake, and a Brinsby custom SCT tune. The newest thing is CompCam's new no spring required stage two camshafts. We're gonna strap it on the dyno, but more importantly, we're gonna drive around town and let you know how it feels. 412 horsepower. That's more horsepower than any late model Mustang has made outside of a GT500. For most people, that's plenty of horsepower. For enthusiasts like you and me, we need more. CompCam's no spring required camshafts are available in both naturally aspirated and forced induction applications in three different levels. The naturally aspirated cams, like the one we're testing, all feature 126 degrees of lobe separation, 492 inch intake lift, and 450 free exhaust lift. The difference between the three stages is the duration and the RPM capability, with the Stage 1 the most straight able, and the Stage 3 featuring 236 degrees intake duration and 239 degrees exhaust duration at 50 the most aggressive. Outside of the mechanical limiting, we also need to do some electronic limiting with a tune. The stock variable valve timing can add or take away as much as 50 degrees of timing. We need to limit that to 20 in the software as well. Popular tuners like Fast for a standalone or SCT or Diablo Sport for a handheld flash tuner can get the job done. Also, Brent White at Brent Speed has got stage two cams locked in and are working on stage one and threes. With the five liter back at the shop, it was time to strap it down to the dyno jet and see how much power it made with the stage two cams. So we just finished the dyno session, our 2011 Mustang with the comp cams installed. Again, we start with the car with basic bolt-ons, intake, header, exhaust, and a tune. As you can see with the power numbers here, good, nice stout power numbers, 417 horsepower, and then we added another 17 horsepower for 434 now. Now, what you want to look at is above 7,000 RPM, we're picking up 32 horsepower and 23 pound-feet. You got to understand, when you're changing camshafts, you're changing your power band. So, torque. There's a little bit of torque loss here at the bottom end, but above 5,000, everything is all positive. So when you're getting out of first gear and you're running down the track, this is all usable power band right here. If you got a 2011 Mustang with bolt-ons and want to take it to the next level, we couldn't be more impressed with the ComCam's 5-liter cans, especially the mild, aggressive idle sound it delivers. Now, of course, we didn't share with you the best thing yet, that sweet, sweet sound. 